Hello guys and welcome to episode 64 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Today I'm going to be modeling some fast food. I've been thinking about this for a very very long time, pretty much ever since I started the 10 minute modeling challenge, but I never got around to do it. So I'm going to model something like a hamburger, fries and a drink of some sort and I'll see whatever I'll see how much I can fit in within the 10 minutes. I don't really know. It's going to be interesting to see. Fast food, fast uh, modeling, I'm not so sure. The past couple of weeks I've been working really hard with the uh, Line War, the RTS game that we've uh, finally actually revealed a little bit if you haven't seen it before. You can check out the description, I'll put a link to the new YouTube channel there as well. Right now I'm actually remodeling all the structures, all the producers in the game. So I'm putting a little bit more thought into them and putting a theme to the way they look. And they're also going to be animated, so there'll be like a robotic arm that assembles uh, tanks. And, and at the same time I'm uh, working hard on the map generator as well. And I've uh, swapped out the water, it used to be just a flat blue sheet, uh, pretty much uh, no animations. And I put a lot of depth into it, so I've recalculated all the uh, noise algorithms to uh, apply some nice depth and uh, like tropical style uh, water now with uh, some little ripples on and uh, uh, having a really good time making this game. We're also streaming uh, a few matches every week, so check out my Twitch schedule. So it's uh, twitch.tv slash infensia. And you can see the schedule there and we're going to be streaming Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays for official matches. So I'm going to play against Christian who's also making the game. I've also had a lot of fun rendering. So the, all the PCs in the house have been rendering like crazy, 60,000 frames. And I also had to re-render about a thousand frames because I actually realized that I missed uh, one of the blocks out. So I've re-rendered those and it's looking pretty neat. And uh, I've also picked my five uh, winners, but I'm not going to reveal them in this video. But hopefully, hopefully, I know you've been waiting patiently, or yeah, I think so. <laughs> I haven't even dared to go into the Discord to ask around. But I know you're waiting for it, but it's very, very near now, finally. I've been saying that for a long time. And uh, I'm going to also put a little reveal video out for the March challenge. It's going to be a little bit compressed because we're already on the 11th of March. So maybe it'll be like a two or three weeks challenge, but I'm pretty sure that you'll, you'll find enough time. <laughs> With that said, let's get started. Fast poo. Fast food. Fast food. Here we go. Ready, steady, go. And we're off. Tab into edit mode. Hold the control key. Snap it up. Let's uh, steal that one because we're going to need some square stuff later on. L, select the link. G, let's make a burger bun color. Control R, loop cut. Control R, loop cut. And we'll actually lower this down a little bit. Shift select these. And then I'm going to go to loop tools here and do circle. Love that one. And before I do this, maybe I should do scale it out a bit like this. That's it. And Shift D, duplicate this one. Scale it down. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. L to select linked. G, make a dark burger. Time for some cheese. So that's why I copied, need a square one here. So there. E to extrude. L to select, oop. L to select the linked. G, let's make it yellow. And then right click, subdivide. I got both sides, yeah. Let's go for there. Vertex select, one on the keyboard. O for proportional mouse wheel, and then let's melt the cheese. There we go. Melted cheese coming our way. So a lot of unnecessary vertices here on the heights, but hey, never mind. All in the name of speed. Okay, so now we're gonna go for a piece of lettuce. Shift D, I'm gonna skip the dressing. I like the dressing. E to extrude, and here I'm just gonna go for like a green salad. Lattice. Scale, G. Okay, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be low poly, of course, here, so maybe that's okay. Now let's put the top of this burger. Shift D, I'm not gonna put any ketchup on, even though I like it. E to extrude, S to scale. Oh, I got proportional, oh. Scale, 8.06 on the clock, S to scale. Do you know what? That's gonna be the burger. That's one thick burger. Uh, L, 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 L. Compress it a bit, like those dropping commercial things. Okay, that's it. Uh, now we're gonna put, uh, what should we make next? Uh, the fries. So I'll steal this one again. Move it to here maybe. Shift D, duplicate it. I'm wasting time here. Scale X. Scale, okay, I should do it. Um, we'll make a, no names here, but let's make a red box here. No particular brand, just a random brand. Uh, as the scale, okay. 
L to select the link. I'm putting it too close. I'm wasting time. I to inset, E to extrude, and S to scale. Here, let's do some fries. S to scale. I shift D to duplicate that face. Top view, seven. And then shift, or make it yellow. Shift D. I'll just put a bunch of fries here. I don't know why they're oblong. Oh. It should be a bit more square. It's thick fries. Nice and uh, chunky ones. So shift select these. And then let's just extrude these. E 0 0.5 maybe. Shift R. I'm just doing this so I can get some height to them. Let's make them taller. Alt select there. I need this casing to be a little bit high. Casing? What am I? Weapons expert? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, and auto because I need the uh, linked off. And then let's uh, curl these fries a little bit. G proportional is on. So G rotate. These are need to spend a little bit less time in the fryer or more time. They're a bit droopy. G, let's just get some different heights as well. They're not all perfect. Like me. <laughs> uh, right. Got a lot of grief for my old video. My wife cringed uh, from the last one and the one before that and the one before that. She says, I'm not myself, but this is exactly the way I am. So don't listen to her. Okay, that's it. Droopy fries. How am I doing? 554. What do we need now? We need a drink. So I'll steal this face. I need the round ones. There we go. That's. I should have kept one of those as well. Shift D, duplicate it. Why am I building in them on, on the Y axis? I never do that. Uh, scale, E to extrude, S to scale. That's one big drink. L, let's make that red too. And put a lid on, Shift D, E to extrude that on. L to select, oh, I've got proportional on. It's stupid. G, and Alt select there, Alt E to extrude long face normals. What am I doing? Alti, extrude long face normals. Let's inset this one. E to extrude. A little bit unnecessary geometry here. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. E, I want a little lid that goes down. Okay, let's make a straw. Still that on. Shift E to duplicate it. E to extrude. Let's go side view here or front view or whatever it is. Uh, control right click to extrude and curl it to there. Rotate. L, maybe it's a bit too thick that one as well. All right. Uh, G, let's put it there. Rotate that. Okay, uh, four sec, four, four minutes. That's gonna be it for the cup, I think. Uh, let's uh, do an ice cream. Why didn't I copy the, I need to steal this face again because it's pretty much the same color even. I should definitely keep a copy of it now. Maybe I'll keep a copy for a uh, coffee. Yeah, yes, please. Got a coffee here. Let's have a sip. Okay, that's good. That was not wasting time because I needed a coffee. Scale, L, scale. That's a, a first in 64 episodes. I haven't actually ever drank coffee during an episode before. Uh, scale, shift Z. That's going to be the ice cream cone. Control R. Let's uh, alt select all of these. I to inset, I to inset again. Alt E to extrude long face normals, uh, period, and go individual origins, S to scale those down, scale Z, that's it. And that can be solid, no one will see this because I'm going to put the ice cream here. So shift D, duplicate it, scale, G, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, R to rotate, rotate, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. I'm just, uh, there's no signs to this. It's just ice cream, Ro S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. Should we make it drip as well? Every time I eat ice cream, it ends up dripping, so let's go. One, O for proportional, let's make it a bit drippy. <laughs> strange, sounded strange. This one is, okay. Rotate zero, bit, bit of twist there as well. Let's make it uh, drip even more here. So E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. 
e to extrude as the scale r to rotate. Should we make a muffin as well? Two minutes to go. S to go. S to go as the scale. Dun -dun -dun. Okay. And I still didn't make a copy of that one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use this one for the coffee then. So, and then I'll do uh, right click, subdivide, and then we'll do circle. That was faster, why didn't I do that before? Scale. And I keep the lid off, because usually I always have black coffee and it's always too warm. So, no milk or anything. That looks like polluted uh, dishwater if you have milk in it, so. Well, that was the simplest cup of coffee I've ever made. Control is probably the only one I've ever made. Maybe a little tint here. Oh yeah, we can have one of those uh, little heater things. Like I said, I usually need to have some sort of a cardboard thing. That's it. Uh, so, so 127. Okay, let's make a muffin as well then. So I still didn't keep a copy of this one. Muffin, here we go. Shift D. I'm like moving it on the wrong axis here. Muffin. This is going to be a lot of calories in this meal. I like it. I'm trying to actually do some family exercise now. We're training every day near enough. Tabata, if you've ever tried that one. It's like 20 minutes of pure pain. One minute to go. Speaking of pain. E to extrude. Okay, proportional is on S to scale. E to extrude. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. And should we put a wrapper on this as well? Otherwise you get sticky fingers. Alt D, extrude long face normals, control plus, make it grow, G, bit of a white wrapper. They're not so perfect. G. Should we make some chocolate chip in this one? Maybe I'll have time. Can I do this? Shift D, duplicate, period, individual origin, 16 seconds to go. Alt D, extrude normal, face normals. Okay, we've got some issues there, but that's okay. Control plus, make it chocolate. There, some chocolate chips. Four seconds to go. A little uh, less perfect there. Just dip that one down. So we've got a hamburger, not a double decker, just a hamburger with cheese, lettuce, and uh, plain buns. Oop, plain buns. And then we've got some fries here. Thick fries, but a bit droopy. We've got a drink of some sort, soft drink. We've got an ice cream, cup of coffee, and a chocolate chip muffin. There we go. I'm actually starving now. And I built it along the y-axis. I always, when I do multiple objects, I always span them across the x-axis. I have no idea why I went with the y-axis this time. Usually I always do the same thing over and over again. If you know me by now, 64 episodes down the line, that's pretty much what I do. So I don't think I've introduced any new tricks here. A lot of proportional. The only trick I'm going to give you this time, I guess, is because uh, I've shown a lot of the face duplication stuff. If you check all my previous episodes, that's what I do all the time. Just a little quick mention on the proportional, which is quite good to remember. If you have proportional on and it goes like this, it, it moves the cup as well. And you only want the proportional to affect the lid here. Same thing with the fries here. G, bro, C, you don't want to scale the hamburger. You don't want to scale the the case, <laughs> and I said it again, the, the container or carton for the fries there. Then you either press Alt-O and you see that, that little center dot here disappeared on the proportional. And that's the same as clicking here and going drop down and then doing connected only. And this way, when you press G, it's only vertices that are connected to each other now. So we're all working in the default cube here, of course, nothing else. You're not allowed to do anything else. You have to start with the default cube. Yeah, it's really useful to uh, work with the connected uh, vertices off sometimes. And if you want to affect everything, let's say you wanted to droop this whole ice cream, including the cone, then you press Alt-O again, or you select it manually up there, which is this uh, here, the connected only. And then now when we droop it, but then you have to be careful because uh, you might have to move it away a bit from the coffee cup for that to work. Okay, so that was a quick little tip. Uh, nothing spectacular. But uh, it's the simple things that makes a big difference. And you could get a long way by just uh, a lot of E to extrude, S to scale, do proportional editing, and then uh, shift D to duplicate faces. That's a very nifty trick to just borrow some geometry that looks similar to what you want to do. And then shift D to duplicate that one, move it to the side. And if you wanted to separate these into separate objects, because when you exported it to a game, you wouldn't want to keep everything. Uh, what you could do is to uh, 
Either you select, um, let's see, what, what should we do? L to select the linked vertices works, but that's a bit manual because you have to do all of those. But that's one way to do it. And then you press P and then you separate by selection. And then that's hamburger. We could name that one. And then now this is a separate object. And if you want to reset the origin of this one, it's pretty good now because it's uh, at the base of this object. So if I do shift space G to get this little move tool here, you can see that uh, the origo or origin of this one is at the base of the hamburger. That's pretty good. If you want to change the origin, right click on it and do set origin and then do, for example, origin to center of mass, either surface or volume. And then now it's uh, perfectly centered there. And if you want to center this object in the scene, you press Alt G and that resets the, and Alt R would reset the re rotation as well, but that was already okay. There are other ways to separate the geometry. If I select this object again, tab, select everything, P, I can do by loose parts. But the problem with this one is then that it separates all the loose parts. So you can see that this French fry and this French fry, they're all loose parts here. So maybe you want to have them all separate, then that's one way to do it. If you wanted to do this way to save some time instead of manually selecting it, then you can shift select these fries here. And then you shift select the carton, the last here. And then you press control J. That links it all into one object. And then we could call this one fries. Right click, set origin. And I missed one fry. So I just shift select that one, control J to link that one up into the fries. Alt G to reset the, this one. If you wanted to export it to a game engine, you want to export everything in the center of the scene here. That's a good practice because then when you import it into Unity or something, it's not offset to the side. So this one, we'll do the same with this one, but I'll do the first method here. Alt select the link, Alt select the link here. Okay, that didn't work. Oh yeah, I've separated this into separate parts. So let's just shift select these, control J to join them. Double click here and do name that one drink, right click, set origin, center of mass, Alt G. I'll reset that one. Ice cream, control J to join those ice cream and then right click set origin alt g to reset it and then this one's just one object so that's pretty good we just rename that one coffee right click set or oop right click set origin surface alt g and last one the muffin here and we've got a bunch of extra ones if you don't want to manually select all of these you could do alt z to see through box select that selects everything there or either b to box select, or you could just drag like this that's default nowadays and then Control j to link those together alt z to get the x-ray off again double click here muffin or is it cupcake i don't know and right click set origin surface alt g to center it that's it and now i can separate them again that was just to demonstrate so Let's see, I should have them in the same order that I modeled them. Otherwise, my OCD mind will freak out. Uh, drink. Okay. This is even the right order that I would eat it. I would probably eat the burger, eat the fries, drink my drink, eat the ice cream. That's why it melted, because I should have ate it before. Coffee would have cooled enough by now, so I can drink that one, and then I'll finish off with a muffin, and then I'll get thirsty, so I'll have to go back and buy some more drink. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed episode 64 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and come back next Thursday if you wanna check out episode 65 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. And also keep your eyes open for the challenge, uh, both the result videos and the new challenge announcement. And uh, join the Discord server if you haven't already. The link is in the description. And uh, finally, thanks to all my Patreons as well for all your support. It's helping me out a lot these days where we're making this game. Thanks again and bye for now.